From your startup screen, click on Open, browse to Chapter 14, and open the file Chapter 14 Electrical. As with the majority of Revit objects, there are several ways of placing them. The electrical discipline, however, is probably one of those occasions where the majority of elements require a certain degree of hosting. And over the next few exercises, we're going to discover how those elements are hosted. In this first exercise, we're going to look at copy monitored lighting fittings and the difference between those and light fittings that are hosted on a ceiling. In your project browser, make sure that you have Level 2 Coordination Plan open. From the Collaborate tab, click on Copy Monitor, select the link file, and then click on Batch Copy. The information message here says fixtures have been found. New uncopied fixtures have been found in the linked model, Architecture Link for Electrical. What would I like to do? In this instance, I'm going to click on Copy the Fixtures. Depending on the size and complexity of your project, this may take several minutes to achieve, but you should now see some light fittings on the ceiling plan. I now need to make sure that I click on Finish. If I select one of the light fittings, you can see we have a little monitor symbol and up on the contextual tab, we've got an indication that this fitting has been monitored against an external file. So this has created a lighting layout for me based on the architect's design. But what happens if I want to do the lighting design myself? Here I've got an open plan office where I want to place some light fittings. Click on the systems tab and click on lighting fixture. From the properties palette, Select the fitting you want to use. This fitting matches the architect's fitting that was copy monitored. From my contextual tab, Revit is prompting me where to place this object. Does it want to be on a vertical face? Mm, not really. We're looking to put it on a ceiling. So that's what we're going for. We're placing it on a face. As I go to place the light fitting, you can see that I can hover over the ceiling and click to place it. Click on Modify to finish the command. I can now make sure that this light fitting is lined up with the rest of the ceiling tiles. Use the Thin Line tool so that you can see this accurately. From the Modify tab, click on Align and align the light fitting to match the ceiling tiles. So to complete my design, let's start by arraying this light fitting. Select the light fitting, click on the array tool, give the array a number, select the array and ungroup. With the light fitting still selected, I can use the array tool again to array the light fittings vertically. If I think that my spacing needs adjusting, I can move this row by clicking on the Move tool using the ceiling grid and adjust the spacing. When I've completed this task, reselect the arrays and ungroup. With those two exercises complete, let's look at the difference between the light fittings. Here's the copy monitored one. We've got the ceiling light, it's a linear 2 foot by 2 foot box. Two lamps, 277 volts. Exactly the same as the one I placed myself. Let's go back to the copy monitored one. This one tells me that we have no host and its elevation is 2438. If I select the one I placed, its host is the linked Revit model, but its elevation is the same as the previous one. Although the copy monitored light fitting has no host, it will still report changes in location if the architect changes his design. 